Apagloid finished its fiscal year 2016 better than many other competitors. Joining me now is Rolf Haben Jansen, the CEO of Hapagloid. Are you happy with the results? Well, in the end, I think um, if you compare our results with uh, many of our competitors, our result is reasonable. Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, in the end, it's still a loss. So from that perspective, it's not totally satisfactory. What do you expect of supply and demand this year? Well, supply and demand are starting to get closer together yeah, because we see barely no new orders. Uh, we see increased scrapping and there's also a fair amount of ships still being laid up. So it is getting closer together, but it will still take a little bit of time before it's really in balance. What else are the main topics in 2017? That's difficult to say. I mean, 2017 has been off to a good start, certainly volume-wise. Um, and now we need to see whether the market recovers further. There are certainly some encouraging signs, but we'll have to see. You know, we have to work hard like every year, uh, continue to work on costs, take care of the customers, and then hopefully we'll see a better 17 than we saw in 16. The oil price has risen. What does it mean for your business? Well, for our business, it means that uh, that cost goes up, yeah, which especially in the beginning is always a bit of a challenge because it takes some time before you can pass that on to the customer. Uh, in general, I think to have an oil price that is not too low yeah, is actually good for our business because it also prevents people from doing irrational things. What are the advantages of the merger between Hapagloid and the Arabian shipping company UASC? For us, it brings a, a couple of things. It gives us access to the market in the Middle East. Uh, it allows us to reach again a fair amount of synergies, definitely over 400 million dollars. Uh, it gives us a better fleet because the fleets of both companies are very complementary. And it also further strengthens um, our shareholder base because we get two additional strong shareholders uh, of Hapag Lloyd. There's a lot going on in your industry. There are still smaller and mid-sized shipping companies. Do you expect more takeovers or bankruptcies in the near future? Well, we've seen a lot of activity over the last 12 months. Um, so it's difficult to see much more in the upcoming couple of quarters, but I do think that there is going to be further consolidation, but I doubt whether it's going to be in 17, probably a little bit later than that. Rolf Haben Jansen, CEO of Hapagloid, thank you very much for the interview and thank you for watching.